So if you are searching for the Gotway RS or the Bigod RS compared to the Gotway MSP, this video is for you because I'm going to compare the two and tell you if it's really worth it to upgrade for the RS. Then in my opinion, yes and no, but you'll understand what I'm saying. If you are searching for something that is compact, portable and you can fit everywhere, putting inside a locker and stuff like that, definitely the two will be exactly the same because the dimensions are exactly the same. But when we talk about portability to go up, stairs right now i'm on the msp and this will have 24.5 kilos and when we talk about the gotway or the bigod rs we are talking about a wheel with 27 kilos 2.5 kilos more that i believe that is because of the halo motor and that is another thing that you'll notice different is that motor is stronger than the one that i'm using at this point that one is a 2600 but also if you are a heavy user the maximum weight on the gotway MSP is 120 kilos if we talk about the Gotway or the Bigod RS we are talking about 130 kilos if we talk about the maximum speeding when you are not on top of the wheel on the MSP the one that I'm using right now we are talking about a 96 and if you go to the RS we are talking about 98 it's not relevant it's just two kilometers of difference also the performance that you should get on the RS compared to the MSP high speed I think is the most interesting one but obviously if you are above 85 kilos I will recommend you to go for the high torques if you are searching for a wheel that gives you a good amount of range if you have already an MSP just stay with it because if you have a motor that is stronger obviously you are going to lose mileage but the RS have a big benefit because in this case you have two charging ports when you talk about the MSP you just have one 10 amps compared to 20 amps even when we talk about maximum range advertised by Gotway they say that this one can go up to 200 kilometers and if you go to the RS it goes up to 160 kilometers when we talk about batteries you are going to find exactly the same batteries LG M50T 1800 watt hour in the MSP and is 1800 watt hour on the RS but let's talk about changes the first one that I want to talk is about the side panel so they are slightly larger on the RS than they are on the MSP these wheels they are a bit wobbly why it's something that we are used if you use a gotway because the body of these wheels are so large that makes the wheel much more wobbly when more wobbles harder is to break so i believe that when you go to the rs you'll have even a little bit more wobbles than you get with the MSP. The RS comes with power pads and when you go to the high speed wheel when you need to brake you need to really brake hard. If you go to the high torque obviously you have a better response because the motor is stronger so you have better brakes and better acceleration. It's really good to see a wheel from Gotway now with power pads because it's going to be cheaper for you if you really need them you don't need to purchase them aftermarket. I really really hate the doors so where is your USB door and obviously your charging port I'm a little bit concerned about waterproofing but when you go to the RS now they are covered so definitely a plus besides that another thing that you are going to find different on the RS that I really really like and is something that I hate on the Gotway MSP is the handle so this handle is much more like sharp corners and if you have to leave for a while and go up in stairs it becomes quite uncomfortable on your hand when you go to the RS is already much more smooth is round the shape another thing that I really love because I really hate on the MSP is the the cutoff switch in the opposite you have in the side I have to say that now it's on the bottom like it should be since the beginning I never really like it the LEDs on the MSP because they are too too weak and when we look to the RS you are completely completely visible obviously with the same issue that you have with the Godway MSP that every single time that you try to turn on and turn off your lights you change the pattern on the LEDs on the Godway MSP or Godway RS you have the beeping on the outside of the Godway RS in that case when you go super super fast and if you live in a city not like here in the middle of the woods because obviously here is much much easier for me to hear every single thing that happens around me many times many of you guys have cutoffs because you was not able to hear the beepings on your wheel I don't understand for example why they didn't put one speaker in one side of the wheel and the other speaker in the other side of the wheel and maybe even putting beepings in both sides of the wheel giving you an example I have a good friend of mine that is deaf from one of the years if you have the beepings on this side and he just can hear 
here from this one is almost the same that having nothing there so let's talk about the things that they should have thought a little bit more about the wheel and one of them is the lack of waterproofing yes i said to you guys that they have improved the doors where you charge and everything so definitely cool but the handle continued to be exactly the same they could have done for example something that you could attach a piece of plastic on the top that is going to cover that hole because the water you can basically just infiltrate through the handle and going straight away to the components another thing just to consider about that handle is much much harder for you to take out the handle than on the MSP so on the RS is much much tighter I think they've done that to reduce the amount of water that could go on the inside but I'm not completely sure about that it's one of the ways that you can avoid that the water goes in through the handle is obviously putting some silicone on the bottom or you can do exactly the same way that I've done that is putting some tapes on top of the handle but obviously that is going to destroy the functionality of the handle so something to consider about when we talk about the shell it's basically the same things like I said in the other video I was very very impressed with the beatings that my wife gave to that wheel or in this case to this wheel when she was riding but yeah oh what it she just fall again she survived and the wheel also it was better than I was expecting but for example the other day I just went off-roading the wheel hits not really really hard on one of the sides and the handle it basically came off of the original position another thing is when we talk about the front light and the front light on the MSP is my second favorite but have a big big problem the light is pointing too too high they change slightly the position of that light so that light is pointing slightly below so it should be a little bit better but maybe Maybe they should have changed that light in the same way that is the second best light if you put next to the v11 is, is nothing comparable is is really really weak and when we went on that trip for 60 kilometers we passed some tunnels and you can see the footage and uh, my wife was asking me to come closer to her to give her some light yes I'm coming it's better morning even if the MSP is the second best light another thing that I really really hate on the MSP is how can I check my battery level so I would love to be able to just look directly to my wheel and be able to see that I have okay 70% of battery 80% of battery in that case I need to just come off the wheel and check from the back of the wheel definitely not the best approach bigod but by the way bigod in Portuguese is <laughs> his mustache so <laughs> I just wanted to say that now is the moment of the truth should you buy or not or why you should buy the RS obviously if I say that the Gotway MSP is one of my favorite wheels I definitely have to say that now the RS is even better than the MSP because majority of the things are a benefit to have the RS compared to the MSP one of the things that I always try to say to all my friends is if you have a wheel don't get too attached to that wheel since it comes a new model just try to sell it and buy it the new one if you have an MSP I will definitely if you have the possibility to sell to someone else I will definitely sell my MSP and get an RS finally Gotway understood that their wheels need a mudguard and today I don't want to see my trousers when I arrive home it's one of my favorite wheels to use off-roading first of all it comes with a CST tire and definitely that is one of the things that I love the most about the V11 and the MSP this wheel is simply a blast when you have to go off-roading the only big disadvantage that you have with this wheel at least if you are not using any power pads is that the wheel is a little bit heavy I don't believe that is so agile as using an MSP in this type of environment because you are going to have a wheel that is 2.5 kilos heavier than the MSP if you have any questions or any suggestions please leave in the comment below my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one